Hello and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and as you can see, we are starting a brand new playthrough of our Pokemon Egglock. If uh, Facebook wants to stop loading and stuff, what's going on here? Okay, everything's looking good. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Let me share this if I can. Don't worry, guys. I will get it for everybody here in a minute. Mm hmm. <clears throat> My phone's being slow. Alright, we got one viewer. Welcome, welcome. Just gonna share the link. There we go. Now whoever wants to join can join. Alrighty guys, how y'all doing today? I am your host, again, Joe Zamora. And I've already cracked one egg by accident. Volcaran is not our party book. Not a party Pokemon. He's just here to help hatch eggs with the flame body ability. But our first Pokemon was given to us by Zach Joho. Joho. Johonit. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Jeremy. How's it going? And, um, yeah. He got us a uh, shiny Pokerus Shellos with uh, its hidden ability Storm Drain. And some pretty good moves. So, that's the first Pokemon in our team. So, he's basically replacing our starter. So, I used some candies to level it to level 10. And that's where we're going. Alright, that's good. Good that you're doing good. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is... I already have two eggs put aside. And I'm going to go try to get some encounters on Route 1 and 2. And those will be the eggs for those Pokemon that I catch. And then, when I'm done with that, I'll add those eggs to the party. And we'll run around out here in the wild area and try to catch one Pokemon per area. And obviously, uh, we can't use Volcarona's help for that. So it had to be on Shellos to help us out there. But uh, Volcarona will be in the party so we can hatch Pokemon. And sorry if I'm a little nasally right now. My allergies been acting up all day. And uh, that's what I've been dealing with. Welcome also the next person who joined in on the stream. How y'all doing today? Alright, the Isle of Armor. Oh, this guy. So, I don't have that uh, DLC on Shield. Maybe after a week or so, I'll be able to actually purchase it. So we can go like mid-game. Hey Morgan, how's it going? And let's go ahead and go get those encounters. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, Volcaron to the side. So Shellos, it's up to you to get us these Pokemon. Yeah, well hopefully you're enjoying the cereal. What kind of cereal are you eating? All 
right, we got a level five Wulu. So if we catch this thing, we will be able to replace it with an egg at level five. Oh, Apple Jacks. I love Apple Jacks. I haven't had that in a while. And we got the Wulu. Yeah, that cinnamon is a good taste. I used to like those commercials they had with the uh, the cinnamon stick and the apple. Yeah, the Master Ball came with the Shelly. So <laughs> if we need to if we need to catch a difficult Pokemon like an Abra or something, that's what I'm gonna save it for. But we did get a Pokemon already. And I don't know why I came all the way in here to get it. But, um, Wooloo is going to replace the first egg. That's Jeremy's egg. So these two are Jeremy's eggs right here that he sent in. I'm just going to carry this one because I'm pretty sure we could catch that other route Pokemon as well. <laughs> Crackhead apple when the cinnamon stick was high as hell. Yeah, basically. And then he'd always be like, Cinnamon, it's the Winamon. Alright, first encounter. I mean, not that it matters because we're switching it out anyway, but let's see what level this one is. Alright, so it's another level 5. Woo, stay in the ball. Perfect. Two easy catches right off the bat. So, Chudo's caught. But that's not what we're worried about. Because we have two eggs in our party. So, let's go ahead and drop this thing off in replacement of that other egg. Damn. So that's the replacement egg for there. And again, guys, if y'all want to still send in some uh, Pokemon eggs, I got plenty of dittos to give you in return. Because I'm going to need those eggs. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the wild area and try to hatch these eggs. Try to catch more Pokemon as well. So we can hatch more eggs. Oh, we hatched one. This is our replacement for the Route 1 Pokemon. And it's a Shinx. Alright, we already got some good team diversity here. We got Water Ground and Electric now. Y'all want to give this thing a nickname? I can wait for a second. I'll let the stream catch up here. And yeah, Morgan, I'll take those two eggs from you here in a second. Get you some screen time as well. Manticore? I don't know what that means, but that'd be a cool name. Manny Manticore? It's a it's a female. King Tut, Alice. Well, since this is Jeremy's Pokemon, I'm going to go ahead and go with his nickname. And then someone else can pick the next one. So we're going to go Alice. And uh, Zach, you want to go ahead and give me a nickname for the Shellos? And then Morgan, you can give me the next nickname for the next Pokemon, which is right here. So Morgan, whatever you pick for this mine is what it gets. Oh, we got a Trapinch. Another ground type, but at least it has the added dragon. Oh, okay. That makes sense. 
All right, Morgan, what are we naming this trip hinge? Man, these eggs hatch pretty quick. PP pincher? <laughs> All right, you got it. PP pincher. And Zach, you can go ahead and get me a nickname for uh, the Shellos. The wild area. Screw that guy. Excuse me. Alright, we're pretty much going to catch a Pokemon and really use up all our eggs here. Nah, I'm not going to talk to him right now. And we don't want to catch a Pokemon that's too overleveled, so I'm going to avoid the Onyx and catch a Pokemon in the grass. Oh my god, enough with these notes. Here we go. We got a Growlithe. So Growlithe, let's see if we can catch you so you can replace one of our team members. I mean, you could be a replacement for an egg. And it's a solid level 10. One, two, three. And they are staying in the ball today. So now we can go ahead and collect our... Oh, well. I, sh I guess I should have leveled them up to begin with. But they're already level five, so it's fine. Alright, Growlithe, your replacement. And let's make sure we know what area you are. You are the Rolling Fields. So it's the Rolling Fields encounter. And we're going to go ahead and get Jaden's egg. So hopefully it hatches into something beautiful. Alright, so let's get out of Rolling Fields. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, no. I'm, never mind. I was going to say let's level up, but the egg's not hatched yet. So, But just remember, it's supposed to be level 10. <laughs> Heck yeah, Zach. Go ahead and do you an egg lock. I'll, yeah, I'll send you some eggs. Alright, we got a hatch. Let's see what Jaden has in store for us. Oh yeah. And I think I know what he wants me to nickname it. Uh, uh funny little story. Uh, we were doing my uh, last playthrough and at the very end I caught a Crawdaunt and I named it Jaden. And it was also female. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and name it Jaden. We already do have a water type, but Jaden will be good sitting in the back for now. Just in case anything happens to Shelly. But Shelly's our starter, so we're going to stick with that water type. Get rid of these notifications. Alright, let's go ahead and level up Jaden. Yeah, let's teach it time. Alright, so I'm going to use one more candy. There we go. And now we have a level 10. And we do got some pretty good uh, TMs over here. Let's see what uh, type of moves our Pokemon actually have. So 
So we got Shellos. Decent move pull there. We got Jaden. Then we have Alice with the Thundershock, which is not bad. And then PP Pincher with Sand Attack, Astonish, Laser Focus. And then we're not touching that thing. But so far, so good. We got some good variety on the team so far. All right. Dapple Grove. Let's see what we get here. I'm still looking for that uh, Charmander, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, the Shellos is the ultimate water type, especially with that water drain ability. Get that special attack boost. Alright, so this is a level 13, so the levels are getting a little higher. Let's see if it stays in the Pokeball. Alright, and it does. Beautiful. Alright, everyone's growing a little bit. If I start a new game on another profile. Um, if you do another profile, you, you would have to have it set up with the Nintendo everything. So you'd have to buy like another subscription. It's real dumb. But that's how you would have to do it. But uh, if you like, um, if you do sword and shield on the same profile, obviously it's two different save files because it's two different games. But you still have access to your online trading and all that. That's what I'm doing here with the sword. Oh, it's okay. Eventually, someone will send me a Charmander. But uh, Temple is here, and we're going to go ahead and switch it out with an egg. And let's just do this one. So, Temple, you get to replace that egg. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put Jaden in the box right now. And this will be our reserve box. Oh, excuse me. And let's go ahead and go to the next area to try to get another encounter. Well, Jaden, what you can do is, I mean, Zach, what you can do is uh, you can put all your Pokemon in home, restart your game, and do it that way. I'm going to get some Luxury Balls. <laughs> it's all good, Morgan. If you want to, we could trade here in a second after I get this next encounter. So we can use your egg for that. Alright, I believe we're still in the same area. So I'm, I'm going to try to keep running and get out of here. It never hurts to collect items along the way either. All right, we got the white herb. So now we are in the watchtower place. Uh oh, a very strong looking Drifloon. Okay, well, I might have to use the Master Ball here. Or we can say this doesn't count since it's way too high and just try to run. Yeah, we're going to try to run and catch a lower level Pokemon. That's too high of a Pokemon for us. Let's try and... Um, let's see. Let's go to this Golurk here. Okay, so these are a little too strong to catch at the moment. So we're going to not even try it. I don't want to lose my Pokemon to 
something dumb. So we're just gonna run for now. But we do have a lot of Pokemon already caught. Let's see if we can't find a lower level Pokemon real quick. So let's try this. Okay, no. It's still going to be very strong looking. So we're just going to skip this area for now. So I'm going to have to put that down and make a note of that. Okay. Well, this isn't going to count anyway, so I'm just going to try to attack it till it's over with. Just had to use mean look. Oh, see, it's too high of a level to even catch. So, yeah, this doesn't count. Let's just try to either kill it or get knocked out so we can leave. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Zach. So, a Nuzlocke is... You go around... Each route, you catch the first Pokemon you see. Like, right now, it's not letting me do that. So, it's not going to count. But, normally, you catch the first Pokemon you see. And then, if you catch it, you can add it to your team or put it in the PC box for later. Or... If you don't catch it, then you can no longer catch Pokemon on that route. Again, guys, this doesn't count. It's way too high of a level for me to even catch, so. Just gonna avoid that altogether. So we'll have to come back to some parts of the wild area, I'm assuming. But, um, as I was saying, uh, a Nuzlocke, so I explained the catching part, and then next is you want to nickname all your Pokemon, so you have a closer connection with them. So, that's normally the rule, that's like rule number two, and then rule number three is if a Pokemon faints, like, if, let's say that was a real battle, Shelly died. Shelly fainted. I can't use her no more. That's basically how the Nuzlocke goes. And once you're out of... Well, some people do this. Once you're out of usable Pokemon in general, like you're just clear out of your PC box and there's no more Pokemon in reserve and then they faint, then that's when you lose for sure. But uh, some, some of the more hardcore Nuzlockers basically are like if you white out of a battle you lose the nuzlocke so that's why um it's just that that part it's more just on how you feel how uh challenging you want to actually play it okay i think she heals pokemon all right so clearly we caught a Pokemon in this area, the rolling fields. Now let's try to go this way, because the Watchtower, the Pokemon are way too high of a level. Okay, so we're still in the rolling fields, not quite out of the area yet, I'm assuming. No, still in it. Jesus Christ. Rolling, rolling fields is a big area. <laughs> All right, Zach. Let me know if you need any eggs. All right. Now we are in the East Lake Axle. 
Let's try catching this thing. Okay, level 13. We can catch this Pokemon. So this counts. Okay, so it's not going to be as easy as the other ones. Which, not all captures are going to be easy. So now we actually got to do some kind of damage to this thing. Clearly the water pulse will probably kill it. So we're going to go for the resistant move here. And we're not too worried about its physical defense being boosted because we're hitting the special side. Alright, that bulldoze does some good damage. So, let's go ahead. Heal up. Yeah, I'm still doing my Gen 4 Nuzlocke as well. I just can't stream that one. All right, let's try to throw another Pokeball here. Okay, it broke out. Ooh, and Shelly's going. That's not good. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to Master Ball it, because I don't want to risk not catching it, and I don't want to risk... Uh running away <laughs> and not being able to run away so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the master ball here don't want to lose a Pokemon this early on all right mud bray was caught <coughs> yeah if that was a crit I would have went down so mud bray gets put in the box and it gets switched out for an egg. Let's do this one. So Mudbray is the east axle area. And there we go. Whew. That's scary. It's always scary. And that's pretty much it for there. Now let's get on out of here. And I think the Pokemon down there is going to be too strong. But here we go. We got another hatch. Ooh, and we got a Dreepy. I like Dreepy, but it evolves so late. That's the only bad thing about Dreepy. But Melvin, if you would like, you can go ahead and nickname this one. <coughs> Using the King Nappies line, I see, Jeremy. But yeah, Melvin, if you want to go ahead and drop a name, let's, let's see it. Eddie. All right. Shout out to the female Eddie. And Dreepy gets uh, uh, leveled up to level 13, I believe. It's okay. It's okay, Melvin. It's uh, 2020. We can't judge Eddie for their decisions, so it's fine. No, you're good. You're good. God damn it. Buttons. All right. Let's go ahead and level it up to level 13. And I think we're going to hatch that last egg and call it there. 
uh, today was more like a little introductory thing and to kind of get a glimpse of how our team's going to look. But, oh, certainly fun, guys. I really enjoyed y'all joining. That's for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what this last egg is going to be. Because that one will also be level 13. Yeah, that's what basically what uh, Dragapult is, is a physical attacking Gengar. But like I said, the evolution of it is just so late. I think it's like level 50 before it even evolves to its middle form. But we'll see what we got. Spin my watts. Spin my watts. Alright, that's the same area, I believe. The only other area is the watchtower, right? No, we haven't done. But we can't do that one yet anyway. Okay, so there's the West Lake Axel. So I guess we can do another encounter. Let's do it! We got a Krabby! PP Pincher Part 2. Alright, we're not even going to play around with this. We're just going to go ahead and water pulse it. Hopefully it confuses and hit itself. Oh, your Gengar is nappy. And it's a physical attacking Gengar. That's interesting. That's a pretty cool set. Alright, one more uh, Water Pulse and we should be good. I think it just Swords Dance too, but let's hope that doesn't fuck with us. Alright, let's see. Did it actually Swords Dance? Okay, no. It boosts its defense. Not worried about that. Let's go ahead and throw these Pokeballs. Oh, man. No shake. <coughs> Damn. If we're not very effective, that did some freaking good damage. God damn! Stay in the ball. It's okay, Shelly. Don't worry. Oh, my OBS seemed to have done something, but hopefully it's still working good for you guys. Oh, Pokeball, Pokeball, don't kill it. There we go. Damn it! Alright, we're gonna heal here. Potion up. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, honestly, Egg Lock is more fun because you get to use Pokemon that you couldn't get till late game early. But also, you need to have people to get you eggs at the same time. So that, that could be kind of annoying. Damn it. Stay in the ball. I'm getting real fed up with this Krabby. It's making me Krabby. Oh boy. Well, let's go ahead and double heal here. Oh, wait, no, I'm at my last potion. Shit. Oh, well, we'll heal, we'll heal again. Hey, if you think it's worth it, go for it. 
I'm just glad I have a second copy of a game. I mean, it's basically doing the same thing. <clears throat> oh my god, you called it, Jeremy. He shook three times, and the ball was about to click, and he broke out. I'm gonna deep fry your ass. I'm gonna fuck the box. God damn it. Alright, this thing is making me salty right now. Stay here. Try the luxury ball. Do you like the luxury ball? It's nicer inside, right? It's a mansion. Get comfy sofa. Fuck you. We might have to kill this thing. Let's go ahead and ancient power it. Ooh! What are you doing? Alright. Well, we lose that encounter. But whatever. Stupid Krabby. It's like, I just want to be your friend and put you in a box and never talk to you ever again. Like, shit. Stay in the ball. But let's go ahead and hatch the egg we at least do have. Oh, Melvin, that'd be cool. Especially if that could be one of your first Nuzlocks you do. Alright, come on. Let's hatch this egg. Is it hatch? Do I have an egg? Am I an idiot? No, we have an egg. Okay. If you ended up catching it, you should have named it and by. You lost me there, Jaden. I don't I didn't I didn't catch that. <laughs> I, I didn't understand it. Oh, Nebby, got you. Yeah, I should have named Nebby. Stay in the fucking ball. Oh boy. That little stupid crab done pissed me off. Alright, Sonya. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to hatch my egg and get to the Pokemon Center. So I could buy potions. But we will definitely hatch this egg before we end this stream. Dude, what the hell? Yeah, sell my Pokemon lady. It's the only reason I'm here. And this is the squad. Well, minus the Volcarona. I don't think I'll be keeping Dreepy on the team right now either. Only because of, like I said, it's just way too late. Give me that. Paralyze. Just one. So we have three. Pay it. Jesus. Uh, burn heal. Three. Antidote. Three. Damn it. Stupid buttons. There we go. And we got enough Pokeballs. So. Alright, Melvin. I got you. No worries. Oh, of course, Jeremy. That'd be great. I'm here for the gym challenge. Let's do this. Actually, I just want to hatch this egg. Can I skip this fucking cutscene? Jesus Christ. Lady, I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want to hatch this egg so I can go on with my day. Glitch booty ass girl. <laughs> Don't blame the Sony. Well, if it wasn't for her, I'd already be hatched this egg by now. There we go. See? Told you. Now let's see what we got. Ooh! 
we got a starter. Sadly, it's another water type. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, sadly, we got a water type, but I'm going to name this 007. The name's Bond. James Bond. But yeah, so far... Let's see. We're going to keep these guys in the box for now. And we're going to level these three up for the time being. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the team for now. And we have these three in reserve. And we'll catch more Pokemon soon. We still got two more eggs in here. Hopefully, I'll have a bunch more before the next time I stream. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Hey, I did pick your egg, uh, Jaden, but uh, uh, the I already had Shellos as my first water type, so I was kind of sticking with that since it replaced the starter, so it is my starter, you know what I mean? But certainly, if anything happens to this guy, this guy's filling the spot. <laughs> but again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, y'all can help me get some more eggs, and I will see you guys next time.